Hi there everybody, Steve Carson with Penn Fishing Tackle here on The Searcher. We're right in the middle of an unbelievable, another unbelievable bluefin tuna season. And uh, luckily the boat's in for uh, just a, a few hours before going back out to get a few more and answering some requests for popular rigs for bluefin and one of the most effective rigs when the bluefin are down deep and maybe a little bit, a little bit picky, don't really want to bite on lures but they will bite on a live, live bait, and, but they're deep, is a sinker rig. And you'll often hear about the report, sinker rigs are working. You may even hear Captain Mike turn in that the sinker rigs were effective. There's a couple different ones to look at, exactly which one's gonna work on the day that you go out. You're gonna have to check with the crew, but be ready for any of the three. The first one is the easiest and the oldest. And the first two are both what are called rubber band rigs. And here's my live bait rig. There's my, there's my hook down there. There's my fluorocarbon leader. I like to use about four feet. And the old school version and the, and the easiest one to do is simply, I've already, got, I've already kind of half hitched my rubber band onto my line so it won't slip, is you just literally put the, let's see, do this, put the rubber band through the eye of the sinker pull it back around and now it's hanging just like that and that works great the fish bite it just great uh, it in crowded situations it does get tangled up a little bit more with your fellow angler so that's just something to, to be cautionary but as far as the fish go that works great and it, and as far as how heavy a sinker again check with the crew on the day or even the hour that you're fishing because it depends on the wind depends on the current and depends on how deep the fish are. But the other one that is a little bit tougher to do, hopefully we can, we can make this work on camera, is, okay, now, I've got to free up my hook. We're gonna need it again soon. So I'm freeing my hook. And you go through the top, the top eye of the sinker, just like, just like before. And then, and I'm not gonna do it the exact amount, but you wrap the rubber band around the sinker a couple times if you can do it, only once if you can't. And this requires some, some manual dexterity. And you put the rubber band through the bottom hole of the sinker. See that, see what we've done? And there's our rubber band. And here comes the magic trick, be ready. Watch carefully, it's gonna happen fast. I'm gonna put the hook through the rubber band. I'm gonna pull it all, oh, I just hooked my leg. Pull it all the way through like that. And now, didn't do enough wraps around uh, the sinker, but you get the idea. There you are. You're now in line and you're much less likely to get tangled up with your fellow angler. And that is, and, and you have no knots. The rubber band, let's face it, if you hook something big, the rubber band's gonna break, you're gonna lose the sinker. Well worth it to catch a big bluefin. Now, those are the two slightly older school. You'll also hear the crew or your buddy or whoever tell you that they're biting on the drop shot rig. And that's a pretty new school rig also called the brawler rig after the man who invented it and you're going to need to look very close for that one and that is an a ringed hook ring circle hook that happens to be a uh, owner mutu i think that one's a 2-0 um, but the trick is there's my again there's my fluorocarbon leader tied to the to the ring just like normal and then i've got we're going to back up two and a half feet and I check with Captain Mike, and he likes three feet, <laughs> but uh, two and a half or three feet of light line, that's a 15 pound test monofilament. And again, the weight of the sinker could be four ounces, could be 16 ounces. Check with the crew. And what that allows, the reason that that rig is popular is that makes the rig go almost straight down and you have better depth control. So that if the, if the tuna are only at, let's just say 280 feet, pick a number, uh, you can drop that thing down. And if you do the depth control properly, you can get it just about right in front of their face. And so you literally end up with, and they call this a drop shot rig because it looks like 
the drop shot rig that freshwater bass anglers use. And you're going to end up with, I've got a plastic sardine here, so you're, forgive me, it's not going to look perfect. But you're going to end up with a rig that looks like that and shows the sardine in a kind of a natural position in the exact depth that he needs to be shown in to get that bluefin tuna to bite. Once again, you hook a big one, good chance that that, that light line is gonna break, you're gonna lose your sinker. Well worth it to catch a big bluefin tuna. So pay attention to what the crew says. So you got the rubber band rig, you've got the wrapped rubber band rig, and this is called the drop shot rig or the brawler rig. And this has been more popular so far this season. You know what, it's fishing and it's gonna change just about every single day that you go out. So be ready to catch a big one out on the searcher. We'll see you out there.